Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as if well. If you guys can hear a banging in the background, no, it's not my neighbours, um, it's basically the scaffolders. So please excuse the loud banging, I know it is really making me annoyed, like it's just so annoying. Please excuse the noise because... Um, I cannot help this, um, but yes, um, today's video I am talking about online bullying, social media, um, basically like everything like that because lately I've been getting a lot of hate online, um, comments like about my stutter, um, about my accent, like the way I look. And to be honest, it has really put me down. And last night I was on FaceTime to my friend. I literally got um, like a flood of hate messages. And like, I broke down on FaceTime. And this is why I am filming this video because honestly, I've had enough. I will not cry because I do not want to cry in this video. But I feel like I need to talk about this to you guys because honestly the amount of hate on this channel is unbelievable like so many disgusting comments like you sound disabled you look too skinny you need to put weight on you look ugly um, your accent is horrendous. All these comments are just getting to me. Um, oh my god, oh, I, I will not cry. Oh, deep, d deep breaths, I'm strong. I have also done my makeup for this video, so like, I cannot smudge this. Like, I have not done my makeup um, properly, um, probably like in a week. So this is like a proper glam makeup look for me, guys, because it's, it's because I've been making, because I have not been making the effort with my makeup lately but anyways so the reason why like I'm making this video like is because I want to be open and honest with my viewers and like I'll try not to edit this video that much just because like I just because I am like a real person I stutter I get my words mixed up just because no one's perfect um, people like have to realise that bullying in real life and online can can really affect people and lately all these hate comments have been going to me that banging is gonna drive me insane but yeah um, all these comments like have been putting me down I would say that I am like a very positive person, I do like to make other people happy, try to um, kind of entertain people, you know, um, put people first, you know, look after people, that banging, I apologise greatly, um, like I definitely am a people pleaser, I will say that, um, so I do bottle up my emotions a lot, and then like I let it build up, build up, build up like until like I basically a uh, breakdown start to cry and then basically blurt it out to like my mum uh, friend my sister whoever it is um so what I'm saying is basically oh my god guys I have tried to film this video twice and my stutter has been so bad lately as well um I've been feeling really anxious lately just because I can't speak properly um because of like all these comments like are driving me crazy i definitely have been feeling more anxious as well because the pressure of uploading every day can get to me like also lately like i've been gaining quite a few subscribers and the amount of hate comments is disgusting people have been leaving awful comments uh, people wonder why social media like is a bad place because honestly social media lately um like even on tiktok the amount of disgusting comments I got on TikTok as well was even more appalling than YouTube. All those hate comments like have made me stop doing TikTok because I don't enjoy it anymore because um, stupid people um, like have been putting us down honestly. I do not like, 
あともなんか<笑>あとあと I really don't cry because I'm an ugly crier like literally so ugly um oh my god no basically like I don't understand why people feel the need to leave this like disgusting comments on people's videos like if you guys follow the youtuber Imogen Horton she has broken down in some of her videos and basically opened up like about the bullying and bullying can affect people it can make them get depressed anxious like like lately I wake up every morning and the first thing I do like is check it through my YouTube comments because I can literally wake up to lots of hate comments and I've gotten into this routine of basically like checking my YouTube notifications when I wake up like all the YouTube notifications are basically hate comments and it's absolutely disgusting like I do know that there are so many lovely people out there who are really supportive and I'm super grateful for you guys like like all my lovely YouTube friends um, lovely subscribers I appreciate you guys so much more than you guys will ever know because you guys are so lovely did you help me out with video ideas so thank you for supporting my channel and everything like that this whole lockdown like has definitely made me think more about life spending more time with family and friends um, definitely putting more time into YouTube you know I'm definitely staying focused keeping fit and healthy going on walks every day lately people's hobbies is basically giving hate comments on YouTube and honestly it is so embarrassing for you guys to um, leave hate comments because hate comments do stand out more than um, nicer comments um, so like if you are a like hater of mine be kind do you know people like have committed suicide like Caroline Flack lots of other people f through social media and it's awful I always see like the best in people um, you know and I am definitely like a trusting person so when people leave comments like about my looks, my weight, my height, um, my voice like it makes me think that makes me really self-conscious and then like I think about it like all the time and I have had my stutter for 11 years now and I'm getting so emotional I really don't like this I really hate crying on camera but the only way that I can show you like how this online bullying thing um, like is affecting me like it's by crying on camera because like it's the only way that I can really show you how awful online bullying is um, so yes so like I've had my stuff for like 11 years and it's been awful oh, like <laughs> Like, my stutter has been the worst thing. Get him. Oh. I can't do this. I really can't do this. Oh, I need to calm down. Um, so, yes, yeah, so my stutter has been the worst thing that I have ever had. Like, I have. Um, really struggled with it uh, and people commenting on it um, really do put me down because I feel really self-conscious when I talk um, because it's like I always know that I'll always stutter and mix my words up I always feel under pressure to um, not um, stutter but I can't help it you know what I mean like I've been to speech therapy when I was about 10 or 11 I always struggle to socialise with friends like my stutter has really affected me a lot um, through the past 11 years and I, like I really do just wish that it would go but I could potentially have this for the rest of my life which the thought of it is awful because honestly it really has um, like affected my confidence and it really does put me down and these disgusting people commenting 
joking about my stutter. Do you guys do make me really feel self-conscious from filming like a vlog? Because like, I stutter all the time. I cannot like help it. So I can't speak now. Oh my God. So when I film a video, I always, I always stress myself out because I always want to get it perfect. I may look happy in all of my videos, but deep down, like I'm not and I'm still fighting this battle of my stutter and honestly I really hate it I really wish that like it would just go but it like it can and the reason why I made YouTube about three and a half years ago was because I feel like it could take my mind off it and like I could make um, new friends through it um, kind of socialise with people when I first started uploading I would never stutter in any like on my videos but um, now like I kind of just accepted it but people are picking up on it and like it may be like annoying when like you watch a video and like I keep editing bits out when I talk but personally I do not want people to see me stutter just because it's like it's very personal for me I do feel very self-conscious of it not gonna lie um, and these people commenting, you guys take a break and um, do something useful with your life and bugger off because I've literally had enough and whenever like I take my videos back I just think that I'm being fake because I look so smiley, so like happy, you know what I mean? But deep down like I'm not and like I know that um, like everyone has their own battles and struggles and everything um, but people need to understand that no one's perfect social media especially Instagram can portray this kind of like um, perfect lifestyle like people with flawless skin lovely bodies you know um, nice homes and everything but the reality is those people will have their battles their struggles you know what I mean like you can never believe everything you see on social media because deep down people may not be feeling like 100% and they could be dealing with depression anxiety all sorts of illnesses um, so just be kind to people because like it costs nothing to be kind I would never dream of leaving like a stupid hate comment on anyone's videos because you're just wasting your time and you must be very bored. Being kind is so much better than being a negative person. And also people like have been commenting on my um, body, oh my god the banging is really uh, frustrating me today. Um, people like have been commenting like on my body size, like people have been saying you should eat more, you look like a rat you so skinny. Body confidence, believe it or not. I have definitely struggled with it because people always think that because you're skinny you won't have body confidence issues but that is not the case at all. Like I've always been small like height wise and shape wise. I've always been able to eat whatever I want to not um, put any weight on and like I've got like a very fast metab uh, fast metabolism Um, so when like I went to family events, school um, go around to friends houses people was always say oh you're really small eat some more food you don't eat enough um, put some weight on and that has always been like on my mind since I was about seven years old I would say um, like I'm now 18 it's so, like 11 years so like that is probably why like my stutter started as well like 11 years ago my life changed forever um, like in a bad way obviously like my stutter and body confidence like people would always say or oh, put some beef on or um, you're so small I never really had like any eating problems as a child and even now like I'm not as fussy as I used to be with food I always compare myself to other girls and thought um, why am I not like them um, why do I look so um, ugly compared to them which I shouldn't really do but but not feeling very low like this i always do compare myself to other people like it's not a good thing to do trust me because like it can make you feel even worse i always struggle to put 
weight on. People would always tell me to put some beef on, do you know what I mean? Um, like tell me to eat more food and no one should ever tell you what to eat and what to not eat and like you know what I mean like them type of things like it's your body but um, people always used to comment like about how small I was looking back on all photos I definitely have put weight on now like people still do comment like like oh my god you're so small everybody's body is different you could eat like a lot of food like myself and not put any weight on and then like someone could eat like a chocolate bar and put um, loads of weight on and like everybody's reacts to food differently. I definitely do want to put a little bit of weight on still. I honestly hate crying. I've cried so much in the video but whenever I look like in the mirror like all I see is this scrawny little girl and like I need to put weight on. It's because people like have always told me when I was younger or um, like eat more cake you know what I mean. So the whole point of this video like is to basically say that and um, pointing out people's imperfections can really like affect them and, like you don't know what people like have dealt with in the past like body confidence battles like anxiety depression um so just be kind to people i am very lucky to have some lovely friends on here um like honest honestly like i appreciate um my youtube friends a lot because you're so lovely Oh my god, I don't hear crying. Comment on my videos every day. Um, I really do like appreciate you all so much. And, like even people sticking up for me, like from the hate comments as well. Um, I really do appreciate you guys a lot. I would just like to say thank you to everyone like who has been so lovely to me. People who have taken the time to subscribe to me. Um, you guys mean a lot. And without the positivity on his channel, um, like I would definitely have quit. Um, YouTube by now because like the hate would have got too much to me uh, so you guys like who are really lovely positive people you guys are the reason why I keep uploading on YouTube because without you guys um, um, my channel will not be here anymore and uh, that's the truth like I had to get it off my chest because last night I broke down to my friend and it like honestly it was awful and these hate comments keep flooding in so stop giving hate comments to uh, my channel other people's channels because you're not helping the situation and just making yourself look like a right mug right idiot um be kind because like in a world where you can be anything be kind you know we've had too many deaths from social media um online bullying so just be nice to people and yeah um anyway guys I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody.